Hello, my darling Cocoa Puffs. It's your girlfriend, Cocoa Peru, coming to you again from my Cocoa Room here in Van Nuys, California. Um, you know, just, again, trying to enjoy the little things in life. And yesterday, well, first of all, thank you so much for all of your comments uh, about the video about my friend Woody. That was, um, I loved reading all of your comments, so thank you very much. And, um, well, going through all these old photos and whatnot, I, I just... I've just had so many memories, but I found this old photo of me. This is, I was still in college. Look at me. I'm not sure who the girl is. I think it's probably my friend's brother's girlfriend. But look at me, how young I was. And uh, look at the big butch boots I was wearing. And that sweatshirt, that was not mine. I have to say that is not my sweatshirt. I must have gotten a chill and asked for a wrap. But, you know, this, I was still in college, drag, I didn't even know, drag was not, not nothing I even knew about yet. And, um, and uh, can you believe, I maybe was 20 here, I don't know, 19, 20, and still a virgin. What a waste. Oh, it makes me sick. And here's what's so sad. Now, listen, I'm not saying I was a hunk or anything. I was average, okay? But I thought I was so ugly. Isn't that a crime? What we do to ourselves? Anyway, I always loved my friend's mother's kitchen. Uh, <laughs> but little did I know, look at that, that a few years later, I would discover drag and there would be that. <gasps> These were Polaroids I did. Well, I didn't do. I was just modeling for them, but... Uh, for an artist in New York, these were the Polaroids, her test shots. So she gave me the Polaroid. Look how good. These were just, there was no Photoshop. This was a Polaroid. Come on, I was gorgeous. I didn't even know it. And then, look, I found this, this old photo. Who the hell did I think I was? What am I even doing there? But I love it. And I love that dress. It was, a, it was, um, it's a black and white photo, of course, but it was a dark forest green dress with my red hair. Gorgeous. And then um, this other uh, photographer in 1995 by the name of Jennifer Greylock. I, oh, there's the light. I'm sorry. But anyway, look at that. And underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. You know, I'm a New Yorker and I just love this iconic bridge and and there I am underneath it, looking very pensive. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm probably thinking, what the hell am I doing here under this bridge? It stinks. And uh, the same photo shoot, same order. She took this. Look at that. I'm reading a book, standing on a rock in the East River. The things you do when you're young. I'm sure the photographer, Jennifer, she said, come on, let's go to the East River. You'll stand on a rock and read a book. And I was like, okay. Nowadays, I'd be like, I'm standing on a rock in the East River. Are you out of your mind? What if I fall and you're going to jump in after me? No, you're out of your mind. That's crazy. But nowadays, I mean, but, but then, look at me on a rock in the East River. What was I thinking? But I love the photo and the colors. Gorgeous. And then... There's this photo of me performing in um, Wickstock. My first time, 1995. Uh, friends of mine took that photo. 1995. And um, I was performing my Ava Martin monologue, which is a seven-minute monologue set to an opera aria. Now, the year before... Now, my husband, Raphael, I have to tell you, he loves this picture so much. Not because of me, because of that. Look at that, Lady Bunny. Does she? Could she look any unhappier about me being on stage? <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure Lady Bunny always understood my drag, but she, she got that other people got it, so she invited me. But I do want to tell you this story. To Bunny's credit, uh, 
The year before this, she had asked me to do wig stock, and I said, really, the only piece that I have is um, that I can pull from my show that stands on its own, because my shows were always very interconnected. I said, is a, is a monologue, but it's seven minutes long. She said, oh, you only have five minutes. I said, but it's set to a seven-minute piece of music, so it is just seven minutes. And I'm thinking she'll be like, all right, what's another two minutes? Fine, girl. No. She said, darling, if I give you seven minutes, the other queens are going to freak out that you got two minutes more than them. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 10 minutes next year and just explain to the queens this year that Coco Peru is getting five minutes from this year, five minutes next year, 10 minutes, you'll do your seven minutes next year. And what could I say? I said, oh, okay. Well, I was so, I was devastated. I was so disappointed. And I, I thought, well, I'll never hear from Bunny again. And can you believe the next year she called me and said, so you're ready to do your seven minute monologue? She even remembered that it was seven minutes. Uh, we were young. There's no way she would remember that now. But, um, and I got up there and I did my uh, seven minute monologue in front of and in the biggest crowd I had ever performed in front of at that time. And it went, it could not have gone perfect, and more perfect. And here's what happened was, <laughs> the, it was cloudy and windy. And I was, you know, as the music builds, it gets to this point in the music where there's kind of this explosion of music. And I actually use the word, you know, and exploded, you know, out onto Broadway. And in that moment, the sun broke through the clouds and this like ray of light came down and hit me and the audience went nuts because they realized not only does the queen have perfect timing, she can control the weather. So let me tell you something, kids. If you're thinking about, oh, my life, my life, I was this sad, thought I was ugly virgin. And that is the power of transformation. You get to decide who you want to be in this world. And sometimes when you step outside of that box that you think you're supposed to be in, that's when you, the magic in your life starts to happen. And sometimes you control the weather. All right, my darlings, I love you. I miss you. And remember to enjoy the little things in life. Because someday you will realize they were the big things. Bye now.